Hey, welcome to another engine devlog. In this video, I just want to show my implementation of temporal anti-aliasing. As you can see here, I have this classroom scene with a single light source outside. And yeah, so I can move this light source so you can see how the light reacts. But alright, so to talk about temporal anti-aliasing, let me first disable this volumetric light here and also disable jittering. So the way TA works, it's basically we are blending the current frame with previous frames. And the thing that we get from that is stabilization. So in my case, I have a lot of noise which comes from the ray tracing. So if I di disable now my TAA, you see that the entire image, it looks like it's blinking or flickering because there's no accumulation over time. And each frame, we are tracing new rays to calculate shadows and image occlusion, but we are never accumulating them. And TAA it helps with that. We get this kind of accumulation effect, and it already makes the scene looks look way better. So you see here. Uh, the other thing is jittering, which helps with more specifically aliasing patterns and aliasing artifacts. In this case here we have this artifact which is similar to a star case and with jittering we can almost get rid of the problem. So jittering it works by we are offsetting the camera position every frame and even if the camera is steady we get this sub pixel mov movement which makes uh, each time we render the image, it is slightly different, but but it's still uh, not different enough to have to do camera reprojection, but it's still different to have more samples. And yeah, I think this is looks very nice. Uh, the last thing, which is important to mention, is ghosting, which is a common problem which comes with all the with TAA. So as you can see here, if I move my camera very fast, the chair, it uh, it leaves this kind of trail behind. And this is called ghosting. And the way that we address this problem is to have something called neighbor clamping, which will basically not let us blend current frame with previous one if the color is too different or even like other criteria. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if, you're, if you want to understand more about TAA, I can recommend this talk from the developers of Insight where they go uh, through the entire process of adding TAA into their game and their experiments. There's also this blog post from Alex Tardif, which also goes step by step uh, through all the things. And lastly, there's also uh, my engine itself. So I'll leave here this pull request which have all, all of my changes um, in how I add DAA into my engine. So you can see here the, the shaders and basically everything. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to leave a comment. And yeah, see you next time.